All right, I'm going to show you the insides of a Copeland scroll compressor single phase 230 volt. Um, I have the uh, bolts already removed, but the scroll compressor is actually compliant and radio compliant. But these are the sleeve guides that permit the top scroll to move up and down if there's debris or liquid refrigerant in the uh, uh, scroll. So the movement is very slight, but it, it, it does move up and down. Thanks to these sleeve guides. With the bottom scroll uh, removed in the, in the center, you see the unloader, and the unloader spring to the left of that in the center there. That with the unloader spring uh, helps it on on startup on a single phase scroll. The startup char characteristics characteristics on a single phase scroll. And then you got the Oldham ring. The Oldham ring turns a, a ro rotating motion into orbiting motion. It's sandwiched in between these scrolls. If there wasn't the uh, Oldham ring, they would lock up on each other instantly. It needs the Oldham ring to keep the bottom scroll and the top scroll relative to each other. Um, and then in in the very center is the arrest two, that, and that um, helps on the when the compressor shuts down. It actually it's a little wedge and it actually separates the 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 two scrolls and makes it quiet on uh, shutdown. They, they, they always improve and that's one of the improvements they've made on the scrolls on the, on the shutdown to make it nice and quiet. And then uh, here's the uh, total top section. You got the uh, top of the scroll, you got the arrest, the anti-rotational energy storage technology, the uh, four sleeves, the four bolts, the, um, to the to the right of that is the unloader and the unloader spring in the floating seal to the right of that, to the bottom of that, you see the top scroll, the Ulm ring that this, this separates the uh, top scroll and the bottom scroll. This is the upper main bearing support of the Copeland scroll compressor. It's actually press, it's a press fit. They actually take the shell and press it into this bearing. There's four embossed divots here. So they take the shell and press it into these four divots, which holds the uh, main bearing support so it's not a it's not welded it's it's a, a press fit but in the the inside there's a bearing like this one this one's out of a uh, five ton uh, scroll but in the bearing support there's a hole in the side so what happens is the oil comes up the center of the the crank crankshaft and then lubricates the uh, the bearing here and then the bearing and the uh, bottom of the orbiting scroll and then the, uh, the excess oil is, is redirected back down the sump. It also lubricates the arrest too. But um, these are the main bearings they're worried about. These are the ones that are the farthest away from the oil source and they get uh, the oil gets washed off during the flood back.